My personal view is that the big 1,000 megawatt nuclear reactors are too big for Australia for a whole lot of reasons. Not, not only due to the challenges of big projects and delivering them on time and on budget, not only due to the physical challenges of you know, the, the roads and bridges and getting things to site, but also for electrical reasons, um, I think it's too big. So the, the big revolution, Max, that we've seen in the last 20 years is small modular reactors. So it's a, it's a new way of thinking about the engineering. Instead of chasing economies of scale which, with large unit size, the thinking is, let's do lots of small units, small enough that we can build them in a factory under a roof, not out on the site in the rain and the weather, but in controlled conditions. We're building lots and lots of them uh, on a on sort of more like aircraft manufacture, um, and we just get really, really, really good at building the standard design, transporting the modules to the site, dropping them into place in the plant. And interestingly, the scale of those modules, some of them, is actually similar to that very first reactor. But now they're made in a factory, not made using civil construction on site. So that's a, that's a huge um, revolution, I think. It's, it's, it's just on the cusp of being delivered. It's, been, it's gone from an idea in a university through development and design and licensing, and, and it's just getting ready to be delivered. And I think that's what we're going to this is a huge opportunity for Australia, is to basically piggyback on 20 years of work and $1.4 billion of development at New Scale in the US, the work that's gone on at GE Hitachi and other vendors. There's competition. By the way, they're getting real competitive, those guys. That was really clear in the US. They, they couldn't quite stop themselves saying a little negative thing about the competitor. <laughs> so that, that's our opportunity, is, you know, is, is this new technology, small modules. And the other big um, message that, that, that's clear, it's, it's in the report, um, and you'll see it, and, and we heard it in the US, is you put these things on the same site as old coal plants. It's the logical place to put them. You've got the transmission connection. If you're gonna do water cooling, you've got the water. You've got a community that understands and has a whole lot of the skills already. Um, and you're just leveraging all that stuff. And it's the common sense thing to do.